Hi, welcome to another World of Engineering videos. Uh, today I'm going to look at, um, in general, why some batteries are so expensive and what makes them different. For example, uh, this Fluke BP7235, this thing worth about 500 bucks. And it's, I mean, it's not that special. Uh, it's 3500 uh, milliamp hour and 7.2 volt battery. So uh, I will open this up and see what's in it and what makes it special. Yeah. All right. So my cover. So first thing you can see, all the batteries are um, are glued together and very steady. So when you shake it, you, nothing is um, shaking there. And first thing you see is the Panasonic. These are genuine Panasonic. Where, um, Zoom in a bit. Um, a genuine Panasonic um, batteries. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So this is the action and charging secretary here. We got the battery out. Um, focus here. Okay. So in this case, these are um, nickel metal hard. And this is specific one, actually, this Panasonic, it says made in China. It's interesting. Uh, many of these Panasonic batteries are uh, Japanese. This one is Chinese. And um, it's double HR. 380A, that's the model. So, so one thing will definitely make uh, these um, battery packs expensive. It's the battery quality inside that it's used, and it does make a big difference, especially in lithium-ion batteries, and which the difference could be that battery could last six months. The um, non genuine one and the genuine one and the good quality one could last three or four years which I, actually I do have a uh, genuine battery for my laptop I had it for five years and uh, still only has like 30 percent wear which is quite substantial so one is the battery and the second thing is the protection and charging secretary here and this one is a um, voltage regulator here um, which regulates the voltage, obviously, but this is the actual brain of uh, this um, battery pack, and basically, uh, it is a gas gauge um, IC, and also has a slow charge control in it. And the way it works is, um, it monitors the voltage drop. Uh, across the uh, across these resistors, um, which um, are connected um, in series between the negative battery terminal and the ground, and so th this basically this I see is dual purpose. One is it monitors the um, um, condition of battery, and second is to uh, will charge it and also the monitors this discharging and this thing actually is adaptive and that means um, as you discharging the batteries um, this will um, uh, monitor uh, the temperature uh, and um, also um, looks at the like voltage as well there is the, this is the Get it closer, and this is the temperature sensor. So, because uh, it's an, a nickel uh, metal uh, hydride battery, um, it does have uh, uh, probably some sort of gassing and stuff. And um, and these type of batteries are um, the temperature varies in them during the charge and discharge. So that's a big factor in it uh, to. Um, um, understand how the battery charge and discharge and basically this thing um, looks at the discharge cycle from uh, full to empty 
and each time will give you more accurate uh, um, estimate of how full is the battery and as you can see all these are all the terminals um, that uh, communicates with the load and in, in this case the load is um, the graphical multimeter fluke and so not just there's not just a neg a negative and positive it has also the ground and control uh, terminal as well and there's another one as well which I'm not sure what it is I need to look it up so yeah here we go um, but that makes it that's what makes it a, like a good quality um, expensive uh, battery pack the difference then that's the main difference and um, and basically you get what you paid for but I don't think this this battery pack worth 500 bucks it worth some money but uh, if I had a chance I mean the, the, the choice of getting a 500 bucks or um, a 200 bucks obviously I would go with the 200 bucks is a big difference uh, uh, with these as you can see there are like, good quality batteries used or good controller um, charging and also um, in this case um, the manufacturer won't give you much options it's like any other um, laptops or other uh, devices this in this case is a um, multimeter uh, this battery has to communicate with the the load and tell it like how, how much it's so basically some of the smarts are done here so you gotta get this good quality battery and this applies to any other uh, um, um, battery for any device you want to buy well, I hope you uh, learned something and enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments please uh, make sure write it down and uh, don't forget to subscribe have a good day